Hey everyone, this is Gary Suderman here with Chaz Ebert from Life Itself. Uh, she was the wife of Roger Ebert, who's featured in the film. So Chaz, I had um, a personal story. We've actually met briefly, um, and I, I have a photo uh, to, sh to show you. Um, this was at the Honolulu International Film Fest in 2010. Oh. I happened to be in town. He was there signing... 2010. Is, was this his... This the was, pot, the cookbook? Yes. The, the pot the and how Yeah, and I got him to sign uh, Awake right. in the Dark. Oh, and, the Dark, okay. Yeah, and, and so I got to briefly meet you, and there was like a line of 200 people, and it was just amazing. Um, my, my best friend and I growing up loved... Um, you know, reading Roger's reviews. They'd be the first thing we go to. And it'd be like, if we were on the fence about a film, reading that, then we were like, okay, no, we don't like it. Or if he loved it, he was like, oh yeah, it was really, yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, your husband has meant so much to so many people. And um, I was at the premiere last night, not a single dry eye in the room. I, um, and this is, I was telling Steve, this is absolutely my, my favorite film of Sundance. And uh, it's going to go down in history as one of my favorite documentaries ever, without hyperbole. No, it, it just means, no. It means it means so much because, um, well, as they even introduced it, it's you know it's about an extraordinary man who loves cinema, and who did so much to shape how we think about it, how we appreciate it. Um, your husband was just a, a remarkable man. Thank you. Oh. Wow. Um, I am so glad that I waited to see the film with the audience last night because it, I felt surrounded and enveloped. I could feel that people were, were with it and with, with, with the film and with the images and with him and with me and with my family. Uh, it was an incredible experience. And um, Was this your first time seeing the film in its final cut entirety? Yes, it was. And I wait. Steve offered to show it to me, the finished film, and I said, no, I want to wait until I get to Sundance, because, because that's just what Roger would have done. It would, you know, he would have wanted to, to have it uh, as a finished film with an audience on that big screen. And so that's, that's how I wanted to see it as well. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey from, you know, when, when Steve first shows up, um, you know, Roger's in the hospital, and you're going through... Um, you're just a saint through that entire process. Um, were you ever, I don't know, skeptical or had concerns about the documentary? And, and then now to see the finished product and that it's just such a, you know, honorary tribute for your husband. How, do you, how are you feeling about it now? Yes, of course I had some trepidation because the medical, I consider medical procedures very private. And, uh, you know, we are not reality TV people, so... But Steve, to his credit, was trying to be as unobtrusive as possible. Uh, but he still filmed. Roger gave him full access. You know, he said, I want you to, to show the reality of what happens when you are ill. And uh, so he was very brave about that. Uh, there were some things that Steve filmed that I probably would have not offered for him to film, but... You know, like one of the first, the first clearing of his uh, airways, he did. He waited until I was not there and had Steve film it. So, uh, right. yeah, that was that was hard to watch. Um, well, it makes us appreciate how, how difficult um, that that time was. Yeah, what Roger had to go through. Um, you mentioned in the Q and A that uh, your husband had stated, "This is going to be warts and all." It's not going to just be the, the best side of, of Roger Ebert, the, the persona or the personality. Uh, it's going to be me, the man. Uh, yes. and he, what he said is, make sure Steve films and edits it to show the man, not the icon. He said that's much more interesting cinematically, and that's, it would have more heart. Right. Well, so now with this film, with, with RogerEber.com showcasing all of his reviews and, and all of his splendid writing on film, um, what do you view as the next step as far as honoring your husband's legacy? And you've just been such a, an incredible champion for him. You know, we have a production company, and we had a lot of things in the hopper even before Roger passed away. Some, you know, it's a sort of an, there are a few different projects, and we don't know which one is going to... Uh, 
come to fruition. But we've been approached by very interesting things, including including a Broadway play uh, and an animation series of, of film reviews. Um, so I, I don't know. Right now, I'm really taking things a day at a time. And I'm still, I, I'm still in mourning. I mean, it's only been nine months. And so right now, I want to just enjoy what's happening with the documentary. Because I think it's a beautiful, beautiful way to maintain his legacy for posterity. Well, the, the film is a, a wonderful tribute to the, the amazing man and legacy of your husband. So thank you so much. Thank you so much.